example question 5 textbook le page number 9 9 le question aan okay consider the number 4 raised to n where n is a natural number check whether there is any value of n for which 4 raised to n ends with the digit 0 first we will question explain jaya. okay but 4 raised to n n or number na consider jaya. is the n parayana endana natural number aan any natural number Okay, n in a value substitute a last digit is zero idle or a number result a on another check here on a question. Okay, e question explain chain in a mune first to last digit is zero idle other than number ending with digit zero. I'm going to look at examples to consider here. Okay, 20, 450, 6780. E numbers in the last digit is zero on that is, e numbers all ends with digit 0. Okay. So, 20 is 2 into 10. That is, 450 is 45 into 10. 6780 is 678 into 10. Okay. So, we conclude last digit is 0 i to the numbers all 10 in the multiply or number should be divisible by 10 I reckon. okay any number ending with digit 0 should be divisible by 10 okay so but first point is the next point is the next point is 10 is equal to 2 into 5 so number should be divisible by 10 number should be divisible by 2 and 5 Right. Now, we second point. We will explain this. We will explain this. Number ending with digit 0 is 10 in the multiplied numbers. Right. But 10, 10 is 2 into 5. 2 and 5 are prime numbers. Right. So, okay. 10 in the multiplied number is 2 and 5 in the multiplied number. That is, the number in the prime factorization. 2 and 5 and the prime factors and diagram. Okay. So, second point and then its prime factorization must contain prime numbers 2 and 5. So, e render condition satisfy jayna l r numbers of ends with digit 0. Right. In the kind of condition, number should be divisible by 10 and its prime factorization must contain the prime numbers 2 and 5. Okay. So, first point, any number ending with digit 0 is divisible by 10 and so its prime factorization must contain the prime numbers 2 and 5. So, 4 raised to n in the number ends with digit 0 anangile, are the divisible by 10 nairikim, are they pola the prime factorization le 2 and 5 in the prime numbers in dairikim. Right. Now, we will check the first condition. This is 4 raised to n. We will check the value of the value. We will check the number of the value. The first condition check the number of the second condition. We will check the second condition. The second condition is that the prime factorization is the prime factors. 4 is the same. 2 into 2. That is equal to 2 raised to 2. 4 is the prime factors. 2 is the same. So, 4 raised to n is equal to 2 raised to 2 whole raised to n that is equal to 2 raised to 2n because we know that a raised to n whole raised to m is equal to a raised to n into m okay appa nammale n in either value koduthalum 4 4 raised to n in the prime factor ennu parayunnathu 2 mathre ullu so next step endane the only prime number in the prime factorization of 4 raised to n is 2 and the uniqueness of fundamental theorem of arithmetic guarantees that there are no other primes in the factorization of 4 raised to n. Okay. Okay, but 4 raised to n in the prime factorization, le prime number is 2 matre ullo nu namlu prove edu. Alle. Okay, but namlu the second condition and number ending with digit 0 anangile, adhine prime factorization, le prime numbers side le 2 and 5 in dairikana. Alle, but ibuda 5. It is the prime factor alla. Le? So, 4 raised to n is prime factor 5 illa. In the parnal end, that means 4 raised to n is not a multiple of 5. Le? Or 
4 raised to n is not divisible by 5. Okay. So, this implies 4 raised to n is not divisible by 5. Okay, but 5 will divisible allah and the varnala, and then the 10 will divisible allah. Like, this implies 4 raised to n is not divisible by 10. Because 2 into 5 are 10. So, 5 will divisible allah, 10 will divisible allah. That is, n in a either value would tell 4 raised to n can never end with digit 0. So, this implies there is no natural number n for which 4 raised to n ends with digit 0.